Here we go. It is block one of my weekly sew along. A block a week. What is that? B O W, right? I'm Pat Sloan, and this is a flower bouquet. Block one on January uh, 2019. Yeah. Don't you mess that up? I do sometimes. It's like, you know, when it, the year switches. Yeah. So here's the block. You've already, uh, you can. Get the pattern here on my, my website at I Love to Make Quilts. All the links are down below. This is a pattern. So what am I doing this time? I'm switching it up, doing something a little bit different because I have the new, uh, new to me, I have a crafter's um, companion Gemini die cut machine. And I've been telling you about that and I had a discount for it. And so I wanted to use it. I want to show you how to think about your blocks when you're using a die cut machine or this die cut machine because it's a little different than other die cut machines plus die cut machines are different than cutting with your ruler. So I'm going to walk through the blocks and in your pattern which you download I have directions for cutting both with the ruler for those of you who are you know that's that's the way a lot of you do it and then I give you the shapes that you need for the die cut machine. And these first few videos for the first couple blocks, I'm gonna make the block ahead of time, you know, so that I can show it to you like this. And I will then, I have extra fabric I got. And so I will show you how I lay out and cut things and how the thought process is. Because once you get used to it, then your brain starts to work like that. Right now, if you've not used any kind of a die cut machine, your brain is working and cutting and thinking about your shapes in an entirely different way uh, because you're working with a ruler and, and that type of thing. So this is um, uh, really fun. Uh, it can be very, very effective, particularly if you're making like a whole quilt, like if you're making a whole quilt of, of these blocks, you would just be able to zoom through and cut everything super fast. So I want to go through the dies, show you what I'm using and, sh and run it through the machine and then show you how the pieces look so that you can uh, do this with your machine. Yay. Okay. Let's, let's, uh, let's take a look. Because we're doing it in, in sections, I've, uh, I've done, done a part already. So let me, slide that off. So there you can see I've already cut some of the triangles. So what are we doing? The quilt, the quilt block, let me put this back on here for now. Just move it to the side a second. So what do we have? We have squares, we have triangles in yellow, triangles in gray, and triangles in white. The yellow and the white will be sewn together. The grays and the whites will be sewn together. What we have are just two, the two dies. Let me get them over here. I've got them in the lid. When you get your uh, dies, let me get the box over here. Your dies come like this. They're very unique. They're just incredible. They are so nifty and take up so little space for storing that is, it's fabulous. If you didn't see the prior videos, I want you to, let me get my uh, close in. The die itself has two sides. There's the side with the ridge, and that ridge is what actually will be cutting into the fabric. So the ridge is always going to be down on the fabric, and then the smooth side will be facing you, facing up. So you always want to have that facing up. Otherwise, one, you don't cut the fabric, and two, you will be cutting into your plastic shims uh, and sort of more than you need to be. Alrighty, so I keep them in the tray here. Uh, you, we need a three and a half inch triangle. That is what's going to make these units. Uh, let me get them. These units when, when we're, we're sewing them. And then we need the square, which is a three and a half inch square. And that's in the pattern. All right. So how do we think about this? When I'm going to move the block now. Okay. So when you first start a project and if you have a bigger piece of fabric, well, it's just too much fabric to shove through here and pile on here to get it into the machine. Let me back this up. So <clears throat> instead of uh, put, trying to get like a fat quarter and pile it and shove it and maybe cut things you don't want to cut, to start with I will subcut some units. And if this is the first time you've used a machine, 
be a little generous. Don't try to be so frugal because you will not get the whole dye onto the fabric and then it's wasted. So, so at least for the first block, be a little bit generous. So this was cut at six and a half by 13. I wrote that on the blog post and I've already here, I've already cut out two units and here they are. So what I want to show you is that I'm layering. I'm going to show you here, then I'll point it down here again. I'm layering the gray with the white and then, you know, right sides together. But, you know, this is a solid, so either side works, which is pretty nifty. And then the yellow against the white. So that basically when I take this stack, I can just take these and run them right through the sewing machine. I don't have to pick them up any other. I mean, they're ready to sew. Now, when you're working here, you're going to have one of these um, clearer shims and they're really, really thick and, and firm. Then you're going to have your metal sheet. Then on top of that will be the fabric that's layered. So my fabric is layered gray facing down to the white. And then I have a white one and yellow facing right sides together with the white. Yay! So I've already, I've already you know, cut that unit there so I could just fold it I could trim it off but I don't need to take time to trim it off and I will get my <coughs> triangle over here I have my triangle and it's face down so that the the ridge is down and when this goes through the machine it's going to press like this and it's going to make this crunching noise as it crunches through uh, the fabric and you know hits the you know it's going down to the metal to make the cut so I want to layer <clears throat> and this is really, 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 really important. These pieces, these, and the two uh, clearer plastic pieces all have to be rotated. Here, you can see this one. I've been doing a lot of testing of the machine and working with it, getting to know it. So you want to be rotating it. Flip it, flip it, turn it every single time. So here is my, my um, denser, you know, what is that word, opaque? So I want to rotate it, and there we go. And down here, too, you want to put these dies in different places every time. You don't want to be cutting through the same spot every single time because you'll cut right through the metal, just like, you know, you, you, know, you can imagine. So you need to, you know, push that around, rotate it. I just fold that fabric up. Okay, so I've got four of them I'm going to cut at once. I'm going to layer this, and then... We're going to run it through the machine. Now the, the uh, Gemini is turned on. You can see the light is on. And let me just give you a little bit more view. Okay, so I'm going to put it in the front slot. I want to keep it all even. And whoop, there we go. Put the, smush the sandwich together. Put it in the front slot and just gently push it until it grabs about halfway through. There it goes. And now it's going by itself. And there you can hear where it's crunched. That's where it's actually pressing the dye uh, through the fabric. And these are all plastic, so that, you know, crunching plastic and metal is going to make a sound. It's always going to make a sound like that. There's nothing wrong. You didn't break anything. It's how it works. <clears throat> okay. Take these two off. And then I have, here, let me get you to have a closer look. So this went through all four layers, and they're all layered just to take them off and go into the sewing machine. So there we go. Just pick it right up. Got a little thread on there, extra thread, bonus thread. So these can be separated and just sewn right through the machine. Now what I would do would be to continue. I would move this, <clears throat> but I'd probably rotate the metal shim, maybe shove it down there a little bit, take the plastic one, move it around so it's in a different spot. Take my clear one on the top and then we'll go ahead and run this one through and then I'll do the square. So I'm just going to run this one through really quick. <clears throat> and when you're doing this you will be going you know like zoom zoom zoom. You will just be taking it and working with it. There it goes. It's going through the die now cutting the fabric into our lovely triangles. 
There we go. And I have a bunch of other videos on this that you can watch. Uh, if you're here at YouTube, you can see them at YouTube. So down we have one more. After this, I'll have one more set of triangles to do. So take these out, put them on the stack. So now I have this stack. And then I will still do, uh, unfold this then. Uh, if you want, you could press it, you know, because I have folded it up to run it through the machine, which of course creased it. So then I would do the other one and then the other one. So that would be getting all six sets of triangles from this. So what about the squares? Let me move the, I'm putting this in the tray like this so I can keep track, I can see it. That tray comes in your top of your die and uh, I'm just going to set this over here because I do have to cut those other two then. All right, what about, what about the squares? It's a three and a half inch square. So what I did is I cut a four inch strip and I just cut it length of, of the fat quarter, which was about, you know, 18 and a half or whatever your fat quarter is, you know, how they come off. So I could do the right sides together. Okay. I need four of these for the block. So I, what I will do is I will fold this over so that I can see, see the triangle doesn't quite cover it. Now you've got folds and stuff. That's why you can't just, it's not like, you know, slicing with a ruler. You have the folds you're dealing with, but you're only going to make one pass and then you're going to have all four of them. So there's a little extra because I'm being generous today. I'm not trying to be super frugal while I'm learning and, um, you know, you'd have to give yourself time to learn. You, you know, you don't want to be frustrated by always being so frugal that you, you mess up and you only get three blocks because you didn't get one of the fabrics folded properly and get it under there. Okay, there we go. Now I will, let's see, just flip this around, right? Remember, that's the key. Every single time, flip these dies and flip all the shim, I mean, not the dies, I'm sorry, flip the shims, all these plastic pieces, flip them so that you're always cutting on a different spot and rotating it. Because they, they are um, going to warp and they will warp at a much slower rate. Whoops, I forgot to uh, take the thing out here. Here we go. All right, so that went through. Now this top shim the, the, um, is, has a little bit more uh, warp to it and I put it so that it's curved and that's why you heard it a little bit more this time. All right, take this piece off and now I have four, one, two, three, four squares. There's all four squares. So at this point, let me back this out and talk to you because uh, now you're ready to sew the block. You will be able to lay it out on your table, uh, taking each one of these, let's see, let me get this. So you can take each one of these and just run them right through your machine. I think I talked about this on one of the other videos where, uh, let, me, let me do this, come down here again, because I wanna show you the properties of the, how the die cut works. Let's see, because these units are blunt. You know, they do not have, you're not going to have points. Let me move all this. It's getting messy here. So they're, they're blunt cut. You can see it on the die itself too. Whoops, let me do the paper. That'll be working. You see it on the die itself that the cut is blunt on the end, which means there's no little dog ears that you, that you chop off with the scissors. That's what I usually do. So you're going to sew along this line and you're going to really need to have a good quarter inch seam allowance. And when you do, check your seam allowances before you get started. When the, and check each block afterwards for a couple blocks to be sure that your seam allowance is good. So the seam allowance, press it, you know, press it open, and then you will have a three and a half inch half square triangle. So this, <laughs> this means you are ready to go. You are ready to uh, make your block. This is the first block, and uh, I, am, I am so excited that you came to work with me and sew with me on my weekly sew along, a flower bouquet. I'm Pat Sloan. Find everything at I Love to Make Quilts, and find me at Facebook at Quilt Along with Pat Sloan. 
and I can't wait to see your blocks.